Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to create an effective landing page for your webinar campaign. If you're new to this channel, you should check out my other video, how to run a webinar campaign first, which is linked here. In this video, I will cover what elements you should use to increase webinar signups. So you must be thinking, why do I need a custom landing page when I can use the default registration page, which comes with the webinar platform? Most webinar platforms do provide a registration page, which although serves the purpose, but it fails to impress. In order to stand out from your competition, you need a custom landing page designed using your brand colors and style. I recommend using Unbounce, but there's no reason why you can't use any other landing page builder. In this video, I will talk about seven elements you should consider when building your webinar landing page. Let's get started. The first thing you need to get absolutely right is the headline. The headline is the most important element on the landing page and it will hook the visitor to stay on the page and sign up. I always recommend using a benefit in the headline versus having a feature or worse, having a vague headline. Although benefits and features might sound very similar, but there's a massive difference. Here's an example. A toy could have a very simple feature, batteries included, but the benefit really is that's actually ready to use. And if you're writing a sales message around this benefit, you could have something like ready to use straight out of the box with no hassle and a happy kid on their birthday. To summarize, a feature means what it is and a benefit is what it does. To help you write your headlines, I put together a website with lots of webinar landing page examples from different industries. This will help you for your inspiration. You can check out the link in the description below to check out this cool site. The next important element is to include a list of bullet items that define what will be covered in the webinar. And this should also include what your participants will learn. Here is an example of a landing page redesigned for one of our clients, 10X Travel. On this page, you will notice a big bold headline that straight away talks about the benefit of why somebody should care about joining the webinar. And under Max, the presenter, we have a list of items that will be covered in the webinar, which are easy to read and understand. Overall, the page is very simple to follow and every landing page element aligns with a single campaign goal, which is to get more signups. If you're running a scheduled webinar, make sure to specify the correct date and time. If you plan to target specific regions, show times in correct time zones so participants can easily check the availability in their local time zone. Here's a bonus tip for you. You can also add iCal or ICS files which will allow participants to add the event directly to their Outlook or Apple calendar. It is important to showcase the hosts and guests on your landing page, as those are the people your audience will interact with. So you need to give people a reason to listen to these hosts by telling them about their job title, experience, industry expertise, etc. Things that you can include in your host bio are things like a headshot photo, job title, years of industry experience, areas of expertise, awards and recognition. I really love this example from WordStream. On this page, they've clearly mentioned the experience and the expertise of their webinar hosts. Although it's optional, you can add some social proof of previous customers or leads who have benefited from the webinar. You can embed direct tweets on your page to build trust and authenticity. Which fields should you capture? And how much info should you ask? This is a tricky question. If you're targeting a cold audience, I would recommend name and email. But if you're marketing to an existing list, then you can use the webinar signup for lead enrichment. For example, you can capture company name, size, or country. Remember, the number of leads drops significantly if you have more than four form fields. If you do want to capture more than four fields, you can use a multi-step form builder like the Legion app to easily break up your form. In order to maximize your convergence, 
I would recommend three conversion drivers. Number one, urgency. You can add a countdown timer to show time is running out. Number two, scarcity. Add a limit to the number of participants. That way you drive visitors to take immediate action. Number three, call to action button. Using both these principles, you can use the button text to show limited seats. Take action now. Be part of an exclusive training. Since we're talking about the call to action button, make sure to use a bright contrasting color for your button to grab visitors' attention. The call to action button should stand out from the rest of the page. Here's a bonus tip for you. The good old thank you page. Thank you pages are great and possibly undersold. Every visitor which goes through your webinar visits the thank you page. That's a view rate of 100%. It pains me to see people not using the thank you page to its full potential. I strongly recommend adding a video and you can have a two to three minute video which covers two things. Thank visitors who've signed up and reaffirm why they should join the webinar and why it would be amazing. There you have it guys, seven things you should always include in your webinar landing page to increase those signups. As always, I have a little surprise for you. I've put together two resources. The first one is a webinar landing page inspiration website to fuel your creative juices. And the second one is a webinar landing page template built in Unbounce, which you can easily edit to match your brand. The template also has a timer that you can use to drive urgency. You can find links to both these resources in the description below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.